Hello, I'm Bronwyn and I'm Assistant Curator of Manuscripts here at the National Library of Australia. Today we're in one of the manuscript work areas to take a closer look at some papers we recently acquired. The papers of Banjo Patterson. A favourite component of mine for this collection has got to be the letters that Banjo Patterson wrote to his wife Alice and to his children Hugh and Grace. They are really intimate letters and they show the personal Patterson. The father, the husband, they're private, they're unguarded. Alongside those letters are some wonderful family photographs as well. They too are, un are quite candid and I think the two together make this part of the collection really, really special. Is this letter here that he wrote on the 21st of February in 1912. He was working in Grenfell at the time and he wrote to his wife Alice. My dearest old Alice, he began his letter. He talks about how he was very, very sick of this job and says, I often think how splendid it would be if I had you, son Hugh and Grace up here, now the children would, and how much the children would love to run about, I know. He really talks about family life and spends a lot of time talking to Alice about what he's been up to and asking about her and the children. Another letter was written on the 1st of April 1909 from Wee Jasper and I think Alice must have been somewhere, um, somewhere away from home because Patterson was writing to her talking about what the children had been up to. He starts his letter, My dearest wife, I am writing this in hopes of posting it at Burringer for the Daily Mail which opens today. He then goes on to say, I was out on the mountain all day yesterday sighting a line for the new fence. It is a rough place all right. Grace and Hugh are very interested in some stumps we are using below the house. They carry bark and sticks and talk all the time. There is some bark, said Grace, as she worked on to her father. So you really get a feeling of his relationship with his children and I, I, that really just left an impact on me, that letter. I think this letter, written on the 26th of February 1918, is probably one of my favourite letters. At the time, Patterson was over in the First World War in Egypt, and Alice, his wife, had actually gone over to join him and was working for the Red Cross. So he wrote a letter to his daughter, Grace, to advise that her mother had arrived safely, but also to give his daughter, Grace, some advice. He writes, your mother tells me you're showing a turn for writing. I would like you to send me any stuff you write and I might be able to help you a little. I have done some verse for the magazine they are starting here for the Australian troops. If you take my advice, you'll get some drawing lessons as it is great help if one can illustrate one's own ideas. But you must work hard at the drawing as no good work is ever done without hard work as all the dull and monotonous part of it and the enjoyable work comes later on. And so he continues to write to Grace. I thought that was a really lovely letter and lots of learnings came out of that letter for me. Um, most notably that the fact that Alice went over to Egypt with him. Alongside these beautiful cache of personal letters to Alice are some lovely candid um, photographs and side by side, the two make a lovely little component of this collection of the personal Patterson. There's a lovely photograph here of Alice with one of the children and the family pet. There's another one of Grace in her wedding, in her wedding gown walking down the aisle with, um, with Banjo Patterson. So I found this part of the collection really, really interesting. And um, I think a lot of people could get so much enjoyment out of this part. My name's Connor. I'm the Director of Philanthropy at the National Library of Australia. The Banjo Patterson Collection is one of the treasures of the National Library's collection. We want to share that with everybody in Australia. To support our appeal to digitise the papers of Banjo Patterson, please visit our website at nla.gov.au. Thank you.